hi again this is um, a little video to show anyone who wants to how to play the Togetherland song the Togetherland song was written by Fionn Campbell Davis who did um, a residency and a project with Oasis One World Choir and created this beautiful song so we have two chords in this song simplicity is the key to really beautiful stuff very very often so the two chords are quite simple chords as well, but um, A minor and E minor. So first of all, I'll show anyone who's just very, very at the very start of learning how they can join in. So hopefully you've looked at other videos that go, that tell you what the string names are called. Yep. This is my left hand. This is my right hand. I am a right-handed guitarist, so the neck is the left hand. Everyone, be groovy, dance all evening. So that's E. B, G, D, A, E. So for very, very basic, all you need is those two strings, the A, A, E, E, A, A, E, E. We are here. We are here. We are here, we are here together. We those parts there's a certain order to them they all they're all designed to fit together and um, I suspect each performance is going to be slightly different but we've had it's been very beautiful performing it now if you want to do um, the full chords um, a minor so we did that in the last video for lifting up my mind oh see if you can hear that's not it too flat now. So that's the first chord. So it's the A minor. These, if you look at my five fingers, four, five fingers, four fingers and a thumb, those two there go into the middle two strings in the second fret. One, two, three, you know, and so on. Second fret, middle two strings. So you can press that quite hard. Um, you'll get used to how hard you need to press it. But if you don't press it hard enough, it'll just sound like that. You need to press it hard, hard enough so that it sounds resonant. And I, or you, you get little ridges on your fingers when you press. And if you're playing a, um, a steel string guitar, it might hurt a little bit more than a nylon string guitar at first. But anyway, so remembering from the last video that those two fingers go in the, on the middle two strings in the second fret and the first finger goes on the second string, on the B string in the first fret. It's all very natural and you do want it to feel natural. You don't want it to be like, <coughs> how am I, you know, crunching up your body and your posture just to play this guitar. You've got to feel like, yes, this is very normal, very natural. Okay, and your thumb, which I didn't explain on the last video, not really a guitar teacher is pushing on the back there so you have the resistance apparently the really good guitarists can do it without pushing anyway that's not me so that's the e, a, a minor chord and the good the really this is simpler in a way than the lifting up my mind song I did on the previous video because the, those two middle fingers that you have on the middle two strings you literally shift them down well, up, physically up, but lower, on the, so the lower strings. Can you 
hear that? So you, that takes you to the E minor chord. A minor and E, e minor go together so beautifully on the guitar. I mean, you can even do it if you really want to by just, just using those two middle fingers on that A chord as well. It's A6. Until you get used to the pattern. Sounds very nice. A6 is a lovely chord. So getting used to sort of making that jump between the A minor just to concentrate on those two fingers for now, and the E minor. Just do that a few times. Take your time. So I'll just show you how that, and I'm, I'm, I play it slightly differently, but I'll do the, just the basic strum. We are here. We are here together. We are here. just learning is you'll be concentrating on those chord changes but if you want to make it um, even more beautiful and flowing if the choir are gelling and you're not having to hold them together by your playing you can just go just like a harp nice and slow you see I'm going very slow can be really really lovely as well you're not helping um, the group come together with rhythm that way um, and if you feel if you are ending up sort of being the only person with the group choir and that's not gelling it and sometimes a gesture so everyone knows where the strong beat is what I do, for those of you getting a little bit more um, adept, I am not a professional guitarist, just so you know, I'm doing that strumming pattern I, I showed on the other video. So it starts on A minor, so I put my thumb on the A, and then the other three fingers, I'm not using my little finger, I'm not that advanced, so I'm going... It's quite mesmerising just keeping those two chords going, and it and actually a really good. If the, for those of you who um, are into songwriting, you know you could do a different combination of of those two chords and just stream of consciousness. See if you can create um, songs to go with that, or or melodies. I mean that's something I didn't cover. You can create melodies if say there is another guitarist, or if the choir don't need guitar on that day. See if you can make up some little melodies on the higher sounding strings using the frets, pressing the, the sounds. Okay, thank you.